Okay, so I'm going to do a quick video on how to make cauliflower fufu as an alternative to the carb heavy pounded yam or ebba. And the good thing about this is if you're on a keto diet or any sort of low carb diet, this has only one of these um, cauliflowers have has only one cauliflower he head has only 13 grams of carbs so half of that we're talking about 6.5 grams of carbs which is nothing um, really low um, I mean some people subtract fiber which means it's even less so all you need there's two things you need for this you need the cauliflower and you need the psyllium husk this is from a plant called psyllium um, it's really high in fiber so, but what this is used to do it's it's used to bind the cauliflower together into something that and make it look something like fufu right so we're going to use an here we go we're going to cut this up the cauliflower and we're going to put, put it in some water and then we're going to put it in the blender here i've got the ninja blender which has really powerful blades um can chop through anything um, also you're going to need a net like this so you can squeeze out all the juice from the cauliflower um, so the reason why I thought of this is like if you're thinking of the keto diet and you need really low carbs look I've made um, so I've made a low carb F4 soup here um, and it will be great so this actually a third of this whole pot only has 11 grams of carbs I mean so that's really low um, the way I did that is by I mean F4 has like spinach itself doesn't have much carbs in it anyway, so um, you have to minimize the onions because onion, onions have carbs and so on. Um, but I can leave the recipe for that somewhere else later. But anyway, let's concentrate on the fufu, right? So let's do it. So first we're going to cut the cauliflower heads. As you can see, I've removed the green parts of the cauliflower. Unless you want your fufu to look green, which I don't think you want. Um, you don't want to do that, right? <laughs> so you want to take that stuff off, which is what I've done here. Okay, let's go. So as you can see, I've chopped one cauliflower up. And I'm going to pour that into the Ninja Blender. Yeah, so I've chopped one cauliflower up here. I'm going to pour that into the Ninja Blender. Really straightforward, this step. So we'll put that in to the blender. So as you can see, I've poured the water around halfway. Um, this is one cauliflower. I'll add the second one afterwards. Um, so we close the blender and we are going to switch it on. Oh, switch it on. There. <laughs> tell you one thing for sure there's nothing this blender can't handle so I'm going to add the other cauliflower in now into this same solution okay so I've added the other cauliflower in and then we're just going to turn on the blender <laughs> all liquid here and what we are going to do is we're going to make use of the bag here to filter out all the liquid and so we're only left with the cauliflower um, so let's do that now pour it into the bag oh here it is here's the bag so you have to squeeze out all the liquid now the reason why I say use this bag is because it has really fine vents, whereas a strainer, you could end up losing some cauliflower. Um, I mean, you can argue that this water is actually good. You can use it for something else, like making jollof rice or whatever you want to do. It's good water. Um, so I'm going to squeeze this out. So this bag, I've 
put it in the washing machine, it's really clean. Um, yeah, I mean, you could use other things. You can use a pillowcase, just make sure it's clean, I guess. Um, I prefer undyed as well, because I don't want dye in my food. So I'm going to squeeze this out now. Look here, there's pretty much no liquid left in that. Um, it's all gone. Squeeze it out. As you can see, no liquid left. So what we'll now do is we're going to empty this into a pot where we're going to stir it. By the way, that's it. You have pretty much two cauliflowers here, completely condensed and pureed. Okay, so here it is. What we are going to do now is stir this. So as I have two cauliflower heads, I'm going to use two tablespoons. So one tablespoon is equivalent to five grams of psyllium husk. By the way, you can buy this on Amazon. Psyllium husk. And then we're going to pour that in and then we're going to mix and then we'll pour another one in. As you can see, the cauliflower is cooking. Um, so some liquid is being released and the psyllium husk is going to be used to join to sort of like bind the cauliflower into something that looks doughy like pounded yam as you can see that's with one one tablespoon of um psyllium husk now we're going to add the other one and if you look at this it's pretty much looking like fufu already right it's cool all right so let's go so as you can see i've just added one more tablespoon of psyllium husk and we're going to mix it so i think it's good to cover it for like two minutes on a really low temperature just so that this so the steam can further cook the, the cauliflower and psyllium husk so the pot is steaming up which means all the ingredients are coming together remember the only ingredients in here is actually blended cauliflower and psyllium husk nothing else by the way, I strongly recommend that when you're mixing this, you turn right to the bottom of the pot to avoid any of the fufu getting stuck to the bottom and you have a clean pot. I mean, in general, that's a good way of making pounded yam as well. So as you can see, I'm turning. Actually, those round bits there is me letting bottom bit gets slightly burnt but I can rip that before the end. So, so we'll turn the pool and you can see it basically looks like pounded yam. Now I we'll have to transfer it to clinker. So the total weight of these two cauliflowers is 520 grams, which is good. So what I'm going to do now is divide that into two and put it in cling film. And there you have it. Two wraps of 260 grams of cauliflower fufu. Very low carb great for the keto diet or anyone that's trying to consume less carbohydrates and we're done and by the way the reason why we put it in the cling film is to keep it all together and it's actually still cooking because it's still hot so i suggest maybe waiting for around half an hour before consuming it um, and then that's going to go with the air force soup here And there it is. Tastes like the real deal. This is cauliflower fufu. Tastes really good. Honestly, looking at this, you'll never know that this was actually cauliflower. One whole cauliflower right there turned into fufu. Who knew you can have swallow that was this light? So... I calculated this is actually so this is 260 grams of um cauliflower fufu 
and it works out to be 90 calories, only 90 calories. Bear in mind, a slice of bread can be up to 150 calories, sometimes more. So yeah, this is good. You guys should try this.